Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. It is made in 135 scale and it copies American Civil War Union infantry. As you can see it's a part of new series which depicts various sides of this conflict in 135 scale and it might be a good opportunity to build an unusual diorama in such popular scale. So here we have a commercial sample and as you can see box size is typical for these figure sets from ICM. By the way we also checked the confederate set, you can find it on our YouTube channel but today we are going to talk about Union Infantry. And box art actually shows what you can expect inside. These are four figures and they are depicted in various positions so you don't have to use everything at once, you might use them in separate projects but these ones might be, as I said, handy for some unusual project in 135 scale. So let's open it and take a closer look. First of all, box is not that big and it's quite wide. Here on the side we have, let's say, profiles for these figures and on the opposite side as usual we have some information about this kit and parts count is quite impressive, there are 118 parts inside so it should be quite a detailed kit because we have various accessories included I guess. So here we have seals, so I have to use sharp knife in order to cut through, just give me a second and we will take a closer look together. Actually I'm not sure why it was decided to use these seals because there are not such a handy feature, modellers can't see what is inside in the shops so you have to resort to online reviews. <laughs> Okay, so this is a typical structure for ICM. We have this color printed top lid and as you can see it's quite thin and flexible so it doesn't provide any protection. It's more for the, uh, I would say, beauty of this kit. But we have white sturdy cardboard box which should protect everything inside. And here you can see that these plastic sprues are packed into the same plastic bag and on the bottom we have assembly manual and some brochure. We will check it a bit later. But first we are going to start with plastic sprues. So just give me a sec. Okay, so first of all I will show you the figure sprues. Here it is. One and only. Let's not forget that we have four figures here. So that's why there are um, not that many parts needed and parts division is typical for 135 scale. For example, we can zoom in to this corner and here you can see that we have one piece torso, separate legs, hands and head is also separate. Next we continue with another figure which is also in standing position from what I can see and this one was in seated position. And next one, again standing soldier. As you can see hands are free so you can place various items inside them and here we have another figure. Of course there are no guiding pins whatsoever, as you can see there is a plain plastic, let's say clean plastic, so you, know, you will have to be careful while combining all this stuff together. And overall molding quality or detail in here looks really cool so it's just a matter of careful assembly and as some of you noted on previous videos um, it's really important feature of plastic figure sets because some resin sets do not offer I would say well thought connection points. And next we have two identical plastic sprues, here they are, so they carry the same set of parts, that's why we are going to check only one. And here we have various accessories and these parts actually influenced the overall parts count, that's why it was so impressive. As you can see here we have various armament and also equipment items for these soldiers. And everything looks cool, It's uh, I would say it's typical for ICM, so there are no unpleasant surprises. Even thin parts are carefully molded and there is no flesh and it should be easy to uh, get these parts of the sprue, but you will have to be careful while painting it because it's a 135 scale, they're really tiny in some cases. And next, last but not the least, is the assembly manual, so it is printed in form of Quite simple brochure, we can zoom out a bit, now we close the camera 
and you can see that on the first page we have parts map and paints chart and safety advices and also address of the manufacturer and on the rear side we have marking guide which is combined together with assembly manual there are part numbers they are also on the sprue so it should be easy to find what you need for this or that soldier and as I said this set should be already available you can get it for example in Modelimax web shop I really recommend to check their shop and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such kit write it here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye